Good evening, everyone. I'm trying to not cast a shadow. I have a reborn baby for sale. This is my, uh, my most expensive and most beautifully made reborn in my collection. And my husband and I are <clears throat> We're currently downsizing everything because, um, well, <laughs> there's a lot of reasons for that. I won't get into it, um, but I am showing you Atticus, who is my fin, and um, see how the shadow starts as soon as I get near him. Uh, because I have overhead lights going, but I'm going to do my best to really, uh, really do this, this doll justice. And, um, he was reborn by Julia Homa from Russia and he belonged to Little Foot Nursery and Annie Banani. And I purchased him and my, um, Louise sculpt by Adrie Stout from Annie. And, um, I, I know this is hard to believe, but I'm willing to part with this guy. He has a full body plate, full body plate. He has an anatomically correct, um, and he has a cloth body underneath. He has full arms and legs. He wears a true newborn size. And he has the most gorgeous Russian mohair you've ever seen. He, um, he was painted beautifully, beautifully. He has blue, blue glass eyes. I'm going to turn his head so that I can maybe get a glimpse there without my shadow being in the way. And he has one hand that's kind of closed. It's like that. He has one finger that sticks up and he does have um, jointed legs and arms. And look at these feet, guys. and toes. He has a matte texture on him. And I have his brush here so that I can brush his hair for you guys. Um, I already did brush his hair in front of you before, but um, I'm going to try and do it again. I'm going to take his bib off. <laughs> there he is. Okay. Look at this hair. He has hair that's very finely uh, rooted near his eyebrow that's lighter in color. As you can see, it's super straight, doesn't have a wave in it, and it is just rooted spectacularly. Look at that ear. Turn him around and sit him up, hopefully. You can see he has his cloth body underneath, which um, if you position, sorry, if you position his head that way, you won't see it. But that's his back. He has an actual spine. He 
You can feel it. He has a cute little butt. <laughs> Look at that. Let me show you this beautiful hair. How straight it is. How beautiful and shiny and soft. And how wonderfully rooted it is. To show you the other side. Sorry. Okay, let me try to get really close here so you can see the fine hairs from the side. Hopefully. Look at that hair. It's just, it's unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. So guys, if you've always wanted Atticus and you've always wanted to experience the Russian mohair, the famous Russian mohair, and you want to experience a beautifully painted baby, with a newborn skin tone and a beautiful matte texture. This is the baby for you. He will be coming home wearing the body plate because it's hard for me to get him out of it and get him back in it again. But um, you can get him out. You just clip the cable ties and uh, remove each each uh, limb and, and the head that way. And then you can um, take the stuffing out of the cloth body and just remove it through the head. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take his diaper off and show you his back again. Um, he's on Instagram. You'll be able to see him there too. So I have to put the camera down in order to do this, guys. Bear with me. He's wearing a John Lennon Imagine cloth diaper. I'm going to put him on his back so that you can see what he looks like from the back. <laughs> you can hear me moving his vinyl. Okay. There he is. Let me get the everything out of the way. There he is. My uh, camera is casting a shadow. Zoom in on those beautiful feet. Hopefully, you'll be able to see his uh, his spine. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it or not. He's very heavy. He's at least six pounds um, right now. Yes, he is. I'm going to turn him around and try and cover up his his boy bits. So bear with me again, guys. I don't want to get in trouble with anybody. So there he is. There he is. Oh, I can't really, can't really show much more, but he has like this dimple, you know, this uh, roll right here, and a beautiful navel. He's got beautiful veining on his back and his 
just I can't say enough about this baby. It's just I have to start downsizing. I will explain when I can, um, but it's it's not going to be right now. So if you're interested in this guy, I will not discuss price here on YouTube or on Instagram. You, you need to email me. My email address is butterflybabykissesnursery at gmail.com. All one word. Butterflybabykissesnursery at gmail.com. Um, he's not going to be cheap, but he's not going to be unaffordable either. He was not unaffordable for me. I actually bought him and my Louise, which is my Conrad, together. So, Annie, if you're watching and you want him back, <laughs> let me know. Lynn, if you're watching and you want him back or you know someone who wants him, uh, tell them to contact me. They won't be disappointed. As you know, he's a beautifully, he's a prototype quality doll. Let me just say that. And I don't say that easily. He is. He's a prototype quality doll. Um... I think he has a magnet for a passy. I don't use passies. Uh, mm, I should probably put the phone down and get it. So let's just double check about that. Let me get my passies out. And see. <laughs> All right. Let's see. I don't even know what his magnification is, but I'm going to try. That's definitely not it. I don't have a lot of boy pacifiers. Let's see, is this one it? Yeah, that one works. His magnet's not very strong, I'll tell you that. See, it's not, it's not very strong. That's the magnet. And it doesn't quite stay. So I think this is the one he came home with. This one right here. I don't think it works all that great, but it's, it's a little better doesn't stay close to his um, face all that much, but yeah, he, if I sit him up, it probably will fall off, but he does have a bit of a magnet there. Why would you want to cover up those lips? I don't. So yeah, he'll come home with this pacifier. It's got a magnet inside of a flap. And he'll come home with um, a disposable diaper and a sleeper and a receiving blanket. Um, depending on the outfit, maybe a hat, maybe socks. I'm not sure, but most people don't really care about what a doll like this comes home in, so... He kind of speaks for himself, doesn't he? I think so. Especially those feet. Oh my goodness. He has the most beautiful feet ever. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Chance of a lifetime here. And if you contact me right away, I can mail him out tomorrow morning. 
and you might have him by Christmas, I will send him out priority mail, which is usually three business days. So he will arrive, mm, Christmas is Wednesday. You might not get him before Christmas, but you'll get him Christmas week. <clears throat> so email me if you're interested and we will talk about price. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Love you guys.